We're going too fast for a load like that. Load? Who do you think we are, melons? I'm sorry, miss. What's the hurry? Uh, I'm Rick Daniels, press agent for Cole King's Varieties. Uh, this Mr. Cole King himself. We have taken the Rutherford Mansion, Sergeant. Could you direct us? Well, there's no way to miss it. Look, Sarge, I'll take it easy. There's no need in handing us a ticket. These girls have worked hard in the show all winter. We're on our way to the beach for a month. Now, if you want, I'll call your lieutenant and... That's enough, Daniels. The sergeant understands. You'll see the Rutherford place down the road to your left. Go a little slower. You've got a valuable load. <laughs> sergeant. Well, well, I fixed that. Mrs. Weebles, the housekeeper? Yes. Well, the broker told you to expect this, of course. Yes. I'm Mrs. Thorne, wardrobe mistress of the company. Come in. Your baggage has arrived. It's upstairs in your rooms. Thank you. Upstairs, girl. May we take a look at the rest of the house? Certainly. Ah, this would be Mrs. Pebbles, huh? Mrs. Weebles. No batter, Daniels. Well, cheer up. Youth and beauty have arrived in brilliant wit. The old house will re-echo to music and laughter. Show people. Oh, this place needs a little air. Yes, and a little dusting wouldn't hurt either. I should say not. What a beautiful view. But the ocean always makes me sad. Ghosts are here. Ghosts of gayer days. I once lost a dear friend by drowning. Where's that caretaker? Yes. Oh, uh, we wanted to use this for rehearsals in a general sitting room. Yes, ma'am. I'll get some dusters. Drink is the root of all evil. Uh-oh. One of them. <laughs> Probably a very sincere, kind woman. I'll be back to help as soon as I see if the girls are all right upstairs. And Marsha gets a whole suite to herself. That's your choice by right, Winifred. Oh, no, Ruby. Marsha's our lead for the next season. This room's been cleaned. It's really nice. I think we should bring more beds. All the rest of us sleep in one room. It'd be safer. What are you feeling unsafe about now? In this big house, anything. Just anything could happen. Oh, Winifred, Adelaide. I think it would be better if you girls shared the rooms with Marcia. Well, this I call a grand plaisir. We can manage you very well, Mrs. Go Thorne. Go on, you goose. We'll help you take over. This I call a swell break. No, girls, no horseplay. Where's Centoy? Made in waiting to the sole great star, Marcia. <laughs> Come on, Lois. And Clem. This we gotta see. Oh, I think I'll just stay here. Marcia isn't going to like this. I hope. Well, Marcia, the other room in this suite is for Winifred and Adelaide. I was going to put Santoy in the other room. I'm sorry, Marcia. Santoy isn't a maid. She'll stay with the other girls. Oh, clumsy dolt with a cruel thing. For that, I could put that down. Girls, please. I talk with you. Leave me. I want to talk with her. There's no need for us to use the room. The arrangements have already been made. Come, girls, I'll have no quarreling. Sicker, Adelaide, sicker. I knew something dreadful was going to happen when we came here. Oh, now, dear, come along. Maestro expects us all in for a swim before you. Again, you make trouble with your bad temper and your soul, grand manners. I might suggest you mind your affairs. In Switzerland, in France, always the same thing. You flirt with rich men and poof, trouble. I would advise you to mind your own business. You make the fool of Cold King, same as the others. You will ruin this show. I will own this show. And listen, you know the maestro's rules. What if he were to find out that Doc Brandt is your husband? 
there is other work in this country. Women like you, someone should like that. Furthermore, the maestro and a lot of other people might like to know who Doc Brandt really is. Bad as you are, you would not do a thing like that. Ah, well, we're all going swimming before dark, dear. things up. No, wait a minute. We're going swimming, but um, I'll get you excused. I want you to go to Adelaide's trunk for me. Oh, please, don't make me steal. Steal? Who do you think I am, Fagan? Look, in Adelaide's trunk, there's a small metal box. There are some letters in it. No, Marcia. Oh, please, I can't. Do you want the maestro to know that you're under 18? Oh, I can't lose this job, Marcia. I can't. It's my chance, and, well, I need the money. Exactly. Bring me three or four letters. Three or four will do. Hi, Rick. Follow them. Hi, Matt. Mr. King will be down soon, girl. Then we can swim. Oh, oh Maestro, making an entrance, eh? I just as soon not go in. Well, of course you'll swim, dear. Sun, sea yeah. air, exercise, that's Say, the tonic. Where's Lois? She has a headache. I don't think I'll go and eat in the storm. Well, that'll be all right, then, so I... Come on, girls. Perfect. Perfect, Daniels. We should have pictures. We're posing a set for the magazines tomorrow. Good. Then today, we swim. Oh. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's Marcia? Her robe was gone when I came out. Maybe she's ill or something. I hope it's serious. This woman, she's sick all the time, inside. Shh, Chief. Has anyone seen Marcia? I think she went up to the house, Maestro. Wonder if Marcia and Maestro quarrel. You can't quarrel with a lap dog. of evil. You said it. Lots of evil has come out of the sea. The world, for instance. Liquor is the root. Crime, the stem and branches. And what's the fruit?
You look like if you have seen the ghost. It's kind of chilly. Did you see some toy or Lois? No, I, I was just in the cabana. Lois, you in there? She'll not mind if it looks like an accident. You couldn't move the body. Why, sure, to the beach. It'll look like a drowning. We'll work it out when the fuss dies down. It'll be easier on Lois's mother, too. You press agents are all calloused. I forbid it. Take the edge off the first news breaks and we can handle it quietly, I tell you. I forbid it. She was guarded, a cord around her neck. What kind of a cord is that? A silk cord. Silk, huh? That's an old Chinese custom. <gasps> Shut it! Now, Clem, this don't is no time for hysterics. Come on. Don't Thank you, girl. Clem, we'd better leave her now. Oh, for heaven's sake, Clem, let up. Don't let her come near me. Clementine, control yourself. It's a Chinese trick, a silken cord. She was in the house with poor Lois all the time. Oh, I wish Doc were here, but she needs is a pill. You'll have to humor him. Oh, sure, Clem. The Chinese garrote people all the time. You're accusing me. J'accuse, j'accuse. This is very bad. The garrote is an old French Apache custom, too. That's right. And if it was Marsha up there, you'd have some tall explaining to do. I'm going to see if the men have found any trace of Marsha. No, Winifred. They asked us to stay here until the police come. Girls, please try to be calm. Yes, until Marsha's found, we won't know anything. All Marsha's clothes are still upstairs. If she went away, she went in a bathing suit. But don't stare at me like that. Santoy, dear, no one accuses you. It was a silk cord! I've read about the Chinese. I'll put an end to this. I met a detective, the world's greatest detective. His name is Jimmy Chan, great Chinese detective. He'll protect his countrywoman. Santoy, where are you going? Mr. Chan. Jimmy, Jimmy. Murder, it's murder. That gets those detectives. It's all they understand. Don't let her telephone. She's burning something. We'll all be murdered. Oh. Mr. Chan, Jimmy. This is Sam Toy. I'm at the beach. Tell him it's murder. Oh. Oh. No. Jimmy. No. Jimmy, Jimmy. Yes, murder, murder. Jimmy, Jimmy, he's murdered. Hold on now, be calm. Don't get excited. Be calm, everybody now. I'm with you. Wait a minute, be calm. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait, wait. Where did you say that word? Uh, good gracious for me. Who, who, where? Mm. Wait a minute. Where's the pair? What you, number you said that was? 26 Malibu Drive? Malibu Drive? Oh, good gracious. That's all right. Hold it now. Hold it. Don't get excited. Now, wh who? Mr. Chan. Good gracious for me. Mr. Chan. Wait a minute, Mr. Chan. Mr. Chan. Mr. Chan. Mr. Chan, good evening. Oh, good question, Mr. Chan. Jim has just gotten murdered. I just got it over the telephone. What? Where? Where call come from? Uh, uh, 26 Malibu Drive. There's a whole lot of girls there, and they said he just got murdered. Malibu Beach? How long since you've seen Jimmy? Oh, uh, this afternoon. He must have had a date. But them girls said he just got murdered. I can understand the girl part of it. The rest of it, no. We go. Uh, I'll get car. You get your clothes on. Yes, sir. Mm, good gracious of me. Ain't this something? You are sure you have correct address? Yes, sir, Mr. Chan. I heard it plain. A whole lot of girls screaming and hollering about Jimmy. Uh -oh. 
Please, you will drive carefully in the city. We make up time on Coast Highway. Yes, sir. Six Malibu Drive. Sam Toy found her. You must find Marsha Sergeant. Now let the sergeant talk. What's he know about it? I'll have to take your statements separately. Have they moved? Yes, the coroner took over. Now, who is Marsha? The murderess. Oh, now, Madge, we don't know. There's very little the girls can tell you, Sergeant. If you'll wait until the men come back, they may have news of Marcia. And where are the men? Well, they're out looking for her. Someone send for a detective. <gasps> oh, thank heaven. Oh, chances are hopeful in LA, though. We'll take a Jimmy. I'm here looking for number two son, Jimmy. But he's not here, Mr. Chan. Understood. Jimmy was here and in trouble. Oh, that must be a mistake, sir. Oh, mistakes sometimes bring most fortunate relief. I see all other troubles are in most capable hands. Good evening, Sergeant. Good evening, Mr. Chan. A very serious thing has happened, Mr. Chan. This is the Sergeant's big break. Give him a chance. I'm Reynolds of the State Police, Mr. Chan. Uh, this is out of city jurisdiction, but now that you're here, I'd be glad if you kind of look things over. Little Chinese girl tells me many persons are wrongfully accused. Was a dead girl so very badly hated? Oh, no, Mr. Chen. Lois was a sweet, harmless child. The murder of Lois, that is a mystery. But the missing one, Marcia, we all hate her. I kid her myself. Poof. Correct. Lois was strangled. Adelaide's right. We all hated Marcia. Not hate, Madge. That's a bitter word. Marcia, bah. She will not be found. I hope not. Bah. Quitting gong namlo. Question the men. Ask them. Girls, please. Mr. Chan, would you care to talk to us separately? Would like a few moments alone with Sergeant, if you please. Come, girls, upstairs. No, no, not up there! No need to go to that room. We can make a general dormitory where you can all be together. Come on. Don't worry, Mr. Chan will clear things up. The Sergeant looked capable to me. We, oui, but uh, the detective? That looks like an ordinary bathrobe cord to me, sir. I was more concerned about the presence of my number two son, Jimmy, in this house. Well, I haven't seen him, sir, but I'd appreciate any time you can give the case, sir. Oh, Mr. Chan. I met you when you were on the March case. I was handling publicity for the March flour mills. My name is Rick Daniels. I'm delighted. Being press agent, you will have factual eye for details. Mr. Chan. Am I glad to see you. Mr. Cole King, I believe? Yes, sir. Your presence here is a great relief to us. One moment. Uh, what is your position on Mr. King's show? Uh, physiotherapist in charge of diet, uh, general physical culture. Uh, George Brandt, Mr. Chan. An honor, sir. Any sign of the missing girl? No, we searched every room and every cabana. We can't find her anywhere. Now, gentlemen, I will ask you for careful statements and details, please. Well, I'll be in my cabana, you girls. Madge will take care of you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <gasps> Clam, hold it. Clam's <laughs> off again. Oh. I saw it too. Somebody out on the porch. A man. He went into the next room through the window. Birmingham, guard entrance. Yes, sir. Come on, let's get the sergeant. Oh, Come on, Clam. Oh, someone's going to get killed. Oh, oh be scared. Oh. Oh. What is trouble, please? Someone went in here from the porch. The man, I saw him jump through the window. <laughs> so, you will explain your behavior with speed? Well, Pop, you, you, you see, it was this way. Also well, I figured, intelligence. Well, I found the address on the telephone pad. I figured you were on the case and that you might need some help. And when I saw the state cops up on the highway, I knew that they had just stopped. So I just climbed up. 
Hello, Jimmy. I found a place in the house in the Ham Sien Chu. Unorthodox, though not unusual. So I'm here to help me. I know there's no one. One moment, please. You and Birmingham will take up positions in rear. No one is to leave premises. Okay, Pop. Our quarters are in a cabana, Mr. Chan. Kindly remain in the house. Ladies, return to your rooms. Mm, sounds official. I still think the sergeant could handle it. Position of body? Yes, sir. Trunk? All right, sir. Jimmy, ain't nobody gonna try to leave the house tonight. Come on, let's find a place to stretch out. Pipe down. I'm already in touch with Pop. Yeah, but I'm plumb exhausted. I want to go to sleep. Sleep? Why don't you try sleeping on your feet for a change? Hmm, that ain't a bad idea. Hey, Duck, there's somebody now. into the cellar. What are you worrying about? He ain't leaving the house. He's always looking for trouble. Now, 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 wait a minute. Now, where are you going? Come on, this will square us with Pop. I'm already square with your Pop. Well, you stay here. I'm going in. That's just what I'm... Whoa, gangway. I changed my mind. That's me. Something in cellar? Yeah, somebody went down there and tried to stuff a bundle in the furnace. Hmm. Person make exit 
A carrying bundle away in hands? All in one hand, Mr. Chan. Yeah, he clipped Birmingham. Mm. Resume vigilance. Person with bundle. Most important. Now, the way I figured that thing, Jim. Clip! So glad to learn you are not cause of this latest disturbance. Remain where you are, please. Drink. If you mention the root of evil, Santoy, what happened? What's the matter? What happened? What's the matter? Tell us. Upstairs, someone threw something over my head. I smell chloroform. I can smell it here too. Ruby, don't go up there. Don't. I can smell it down here. No. It's ether. Impossible. There's a plot against all of us. Do I smell ether, Doctor? Yes, sir. A cloth must have been saturated with it, Mr. Chan. Uh, it's fantastic. It's madness. This house is haunted. All clam dry Please, out. please, young ladies, I would suggest you all go quietly to your rooms. The little Chinese girl is evidently the center of general mystery here. Well, why don't you search the place? By now, attacker have ample opportunity to escape or to join us here. What a horrible night. I didn't sleep a wink. You're snoring. It was asthma, no? Poor Clem. She was nervous before we ever came here. Feel better this morning, dear? I slept a little. I massaged the poor kid till she relaxed. <laughs> The time. He's all sold. Just carrying around my own protection. What is the great Mr. Chan doing? He has the situation well in hand. Oh, Mr. Chan is working it out. You've got to admire him. He's quiet, intelligent, and persistent. Persistence. An admirable quality. Oh. <laughs> Good gracious of life, Mr. Chan. I know it was going to happen sometime. No, 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 Jimmy, get up. Could not possibly happen that way. Come in, Birmingham. Could not possibly. Birmingham, come here. Yes, sir. Ah, I want you to stand right there. Bend over and simulate pilfering of trunk. Oh, yes, sir. Hmm? Imagine you are stealing something from the trunk. Bend mm -hmm. over. Now, you are familiar with technique of the garrote? They didn't teach that in my school, Pop. Mm. Observe. When held in this manner, Garota cannot possibly be caught if victims should suddenly grasp the cord. Gee, Pop, where'd you learn that? In the school of hard experience. Uh, simulate uh, pilfering. Now, I am Garota. I enter from this door. I approach the victim stealthily. Not now, Mr. Chan, not now. You see, Jimmy, that is what I mean. It was utterly impossible for Garota to approach victim from behind while victim is kneeling in that position at the trunk. I get it, Pop. That lowest girl wasn't at the trunk. Uh -huh. Well, deduce further. Remember, the body was lying here where these marks are placed upon the floor. She whirled away from the trunk and saw the killer. Uh huh. Deduce further. You're reaching the point. She recognized the killer. She couldn't believe what she saw with her eyes, or she would have gotten further away. Maybe clean away. Uh, indicating what? That the killer was a friend. Exactly what I am trying to demonstrate. The killer, Jimmy, was a friend. Oh, Mr. Chen, maybe that girl didn't see the killer at all. Maybe the killer was transparent. Oh, no further deductions. All this in action. If only we could go swimming. A good idea, but forbidden. Sergeant's orders, stay here or in the house. We got the orders from Mr. Chan. Detractor. The sergeant's a great criminologist. He told me so himself. Crimes and criminals. It all seems like a nightmare. Oh, Mr. Chan, 
Is it how you say permissible to go swimming? I think nice swim would be very refreshing for everyone. It's good. Thank you. Laundry, Rick? I'd be glad to do any washing, sir. Uh, no, thank you. It's just something I had for the maestro. Jimmy. Jimmy. Fine Birmingham. You will both follow movements of Mr. Daniels very closely. Oh, but Pop, Santoy and I were going to go for a swim. Swim later. Oh, Clementine, look what I found. It moved. Don't touch it, Ruby, don't. Afraid of a crab. Bye. Clementine, get it before it goes in the water. Where are you going? I'd watch the rope, huh? Remove cord. You will also examine knot very closely. Got it. Another one. Strangled. Good gosh. Another cord. Everyone will please return to the house. Except the sergeant. You remain here and instruct the coroner. It's uh, obviously a suicide, Mr. Chan. She killed Lois and then go out and drown herself, <laughs> n'est-ce pas? You uh, observe not? It was a granny knot, sir. You also possibly examine victim's throat? <laughs> yes, the trachea was flattened. What would you say regarding possible period of immersion? Ten or twelve hours. He is only guessing, Monsieur Chan. Well, I have only a superficial knowledge of such things, Mr. Chan. I am certain coroner will agree with your every statement. Excellent. Doctor? It can't be a suicide, Mr. Chan. She was a good swimmer. She'd have to tie the cord on herself. And not was a kind women tie. Also many men. Pop! Hey, Pop! Yes? He's going up the beach with that package. Birmingham's watching him. I will take care of it. I must ask you all not to leave this room. I have much to discuss with you later. I can explain, Mr. Chen. I will listen to your explanation at the house in the presence of your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, the coroner says she couldn't have died by drowning. I thought not. She wasn't the kind. Better we leave this place while the excitement is still on. You don't know America, honey. They'd hound us and never let up. Oh, I'll live with you in caves, even in tree trunks, only to run away from this. I've been running away for years. The time has come now to face it. That detective, he knows everything. Already he called you doctor. Yes, I caught that. Look, before we go in, I was trying to keep somebody from being framed. This robe was planted on him. 
The maestro? That's right, and you can check on that. He found it in his clothes closet. I prefer to listen to your explanation in presence of the other suspects. Listen, Mr. Chan, I know crime. There isn't anybody in this house that could have killed Lois except Marcia herself. Then Marcia took the water route. Suicides do not garrote themselves by tying granny knot at back of neck. I've seen a lot of crime. Repetition of your merit only go to prove your fear of fault, Mr. Press Agent. Continue inside, please. Marcia's robe! Where was it, Rick? I had it. It's Rick! Rick, you oh, oh, Please, please. For the benefit of everyone, I wish to inform you it's my opinion. Marcia did not kill Miss Lois. Mr. Chan, several of us saw Marcia going up to the house while we were swimming. Oh. The sergeant has a theory on that. He thinks somebody wore the robe and then went into the house. Excellent deduction, but lacks point of fact. And Santoy had every opportunity. Santoy is a petite doll, and she herself was attacked, no? You sound repressed. Then that ether business could have been phony. If anyone wanted to cover up. Ruby, please. Mr. Chan, it's plain you suspect all of us of the actual, for the actual murder of trying to shield someone. Daniels, don't stare that way. You look like a vulture. Mr. King. You are familiar with these cords? This one possibly from black gown? Uh, there is no black gown in the wardrobe, Mr. Chan. Excuse, please. Chinese girl who is familiar with wardrobe, tell a different story. This cord which killed Miss Lois is from your black beach robe. And this one with silver thread is from Marcia's gown. All right. So that is correct. How do you expect to get cooperation from one you so obviously and wrongly accuse? Spell it, you dope. If you're the guilty one, let's get him out of here where we can give him the third degree. Wait a minute, Daniels. Don't you see? This is a trick of chance. It's an old oriental custom trying to get us to accuse each other. You're gonna talk. Don't ever lay a hand on me again. You kill them both, why don't you spell it? Daniels, this police court stuff. I'll have you arrested. Rick, stop it. Look, I was loyal to you and your show, but enough's plenty. I took that robe out and tried to bury it because I thought somebody was trying to frame you. Then Chan caught me and the finger's on me. Daniels, you took that robe to Chan. Oh, skip that. But Doc here's got something in his past that stinks. And the finger's on him, too. The girls are accusing each other. You're ruining lives, Cold King. When you're the guilty one, why don't you spill it? Stop it, Rick. Get yourself more evidence. I got evidence enough. He let this dame Marsha make a fool out of him. Then he got tired of her. And he guarded her with a cord from his own bathrobe. No, stop him, Mr. Chan. No, no, please continue. This kid, Lois, was a chiseler. She shook Adelaide's trunk for the tin box to put the bee on you, Doc. Blackmail. And that's where you came in. She was swiping the box when she saw you fix Marsha. You had to kill Lois with a cord from Marsha's gown. I don't know anything about it. You're crazy. Oh. Now I see it, Daniels. You're the murderer. You killed Marcia. Marcia took Winifred's job in the show. And ever since then, you've been moody and ugly. You killed Marcia and then later took her body out to sea. Oh, that won't get you anywhere. Hey, wait a minute. You killed Marcia. Daniels, you're calloused. You tried to make Lois's death look like suicide. Obstructing justice is very serious crime, Mr. Daniels. Sergeant, you will make investigations and bring proper charges. Shall I handcuff him, sir? Oh, not necessary, no. Listen, all of you. When I shall have dismissed you, the men will all go to their cabanas. The ladies will remain here in this house. Oh, Mr. Chen, you won't make us put in another night in this house. Impossible to speed up investigation now. You two, in a few moments, will meet me in my headquarters, first room on the right, the top of the stairs. Doc and Adelaide? Why, well, they're no more guilty than I am. That is very interesting comment, young lady. Perhaps I will be able to question you later on. Santoy! He won't question Santoy! Oh, no, ma'am. Sergeant, you will please join my two assistants. Right, sir. No one is to leave house or cabanas. The beach party okay, sir? If carefully guarded, this is routine precaution. I am convinced the murderer is in this room.
It's a dame, Sarge. I'll get her. You stay here. See that none of the others try it. So it's you. Where were you going? To mail a letter. Wisecracks won't help, honey. You sure fooled me. Move over. I'll drive back like a good girl, Sergeant. Oh, no, you don't. I'll send for the bike later. Move over. State Board of Medical Examiners. What's this? I'm not talking. I should open this letter, Doctor? Of course, it's my application for the State Board. I give it to Ruby to post, because she had a better opportunity to escape. Tomorrow's the last day for filing. I, I'd uh, decided to drop it. Best laid plans of mice and men sometimes uh, go a little bit haywire, huh? Very well, I accept explanation. I think perhaps, Sergeant, you had better mail letter. You may open it first, if you wish. I guess I'll mail it, Mr. Champ. <laughs> Good work, Sergeant. Sit down, please. I suggest now we all talk together freely. Well, it seems obvious to me, Mr. Chan. Marsha killed Lois, contrived to tie a similar cord around her own neck since she was so good a swimmer. One moment, please. One moment. If either garrote had been tied with square knot, a surgeon's knot, case would now be closed with you arrested. But how is that possible? Sit down, please. Today, I confirmed a suspicion which began to germinate when I first see you. Six years ago in New York City, a very young and promising doctor was accused of wife murder. Muscles! They're lies! 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 Lies, yes, perhaps. Young doctor was exonerated, but the whole affair ruined his life. All right. He went to war. There he met a girl and married her. Me. Now you know everything, Monsieur Chen. Thank you so much. When you were both in Paris, you knew this girl, Marcia, very well? Oh, zut. We know her too well. No, no. Let it drop, Adelaide. I'm suspect again. You uh, refuse to talk about yourselves? What is there to say? The Medical Association disowned me. I couldn't resume practice when I came back. Marcia got Adelaide a job with this show, and there was a job for me. It's as simple as that. I have no wish to reopen old wounds. Adelaide knows I was completely innocent of that charge, Mr. Chan. Then, yes, perhaps, but now. By simple process of elimination, Doctor, I have arrived at a most important conclusion in this present case. I am very sorry, but I am under the painful necessity of accusing you of a most serious crime. Accuse me, Mr. Chan? No, no, this is all wrong. I killed Marcia. Sebastian, no, Adelaide, I didn't... Adelaide, Mr. Chan doesn't want dramatics. Excuse, please. On contrary, dramatics highly valuable just now. I am convinced, doctor, you tell only partial truths. I am convinced you find dead girl's body in this room. I am also firmly convinced you remove from this room certain articles which lawyers steal from trunk. No, no, he was with me everywhere in the water, on the beach, everywhere. It's no use, Adelaide. I found Lois. That metal box of yours was on the floor beside her. I took it away. You did find her, then. Continue. But she was dead, Mr. Chan. I tried artificial respiration. It was no good. I knew what a bad situation I was in. That metal box contained personal letters referring to that affair in New York. I saw the whole thing being bungled by the local police to ruin us, to destroy everything Adelaide and I have together, our entire future. This box contained other articles besides letters? Lots of things. Everyone has something in it. It was only a fireproof container of the girl's head, sir. Oh, we have some letters, Winnie Fred, some toys, some Jane, Mrs. Thought. You Everyone... can produce this box? It's in my cabana, sir. Good. We will go at once to cabana. Go ahead.
Contents of box may reveal new clues, Doctor. Doc never did this to Lois. We care if she still books, sure, but we not care that much. Evidence so far quite convincing, but puzzle always deepest near the center. Mr. Chan, it's gone. Gone? You'll excuse me, Doctor, if I seem slightly suspicious. But it was here. I... Look, it's been cut open. I had no chance to slip this bag. Until boxes found can offer very little comfort. Oh, no, no, please. We tell the truth, all the truth. Isn't there anything we could do to convince you, Mr. Chan? I will bend every effort to find the box, but in the meantime, Doctor, I must assure you, your position is extremely delicate. Here goes my chance for the state medical examination here. They can't ruin people like this. They just can't. If Chan arrests me, the publicity, everything will come out. Oh, it does not matter. We have lived through so much. We overcome this. I live with you in jail, in hovels. I even live with you in pork pies. Oh, it's pigsties, honey. Oh, what's the difference? Hiya, Pop. Santoy needed some air. Okay, can be arranged. Well, that's fine. She's kind of scared with all those other dames, I mean girls around. They've been picking on her. Oh, it isn't that bad, Jimmy. Everyone's nervous and jumpy. Couldn't she go back to the city with us tomorrow, Pop? Uh, I'm afraid too soon. You have made tall talk of prowess as detective. Honor of Chan family now at stake. Well, Santoy got it all wrong. Mm. I'm afraid uh, too short time to bring this to conclusion. Well, can't you speed it up, Pop? Mm. Leisurely, Hunter have time to stalk prey, but Hunter in haste must set trap. A trap? Shrewdly baited. Pop's concentrating. He'll settle it fast now. Jimmy, you will find other assistant and take up post of observation of last night. Oh, but Pop, Santoy wanted to take a walk. So she shall. So she shall. Nice walk with intelligent conversation with me. Can't keep us caged in here another night. Chan wants us all to get some rest. What's happened to the maestro? His nerves are shot. He's hysterical. Doc's got him in his cabana trying to calm him down now. Come on, Clem. No, no, not upstairs. Well, that'll be best, Clementine. Madge can give you a rub down. And sleep? Pablo, no. Why, I never sleep until this thing is all settled. In the wall. Noises in the wall like someone whispering. Oh, it's just probably some rats. <laughs> If you want, we can bring in some bedding and you can sleep down here. Good, I'm not hankering for upstairs. I'll help with the bedding. Well, that's a sound idea. I think I'll go to my cabana, girls. I'm terribly tired. Madge can take care of you. Oh, I tell you, there's something in that wall. Someone call? Oh, it's nothing, Mrs. Weebles. One of the girls heard noises in the wall. Mice were overrun with them. Oh, would you help bring some bedding for the girls? They're going to stay downstairs tonight. Certainly. people around like this. Hey, listen, I just talked to Pop. Yeah, but he told me to stay here by myself. It's about a box. If we find the box, everything's OK. Oh, is it a long box, about six feet tall, and got flowers piled up no, on no, it? No, no, no. It's a little tin box with some papers in it. And I've got a hunch where we can find it. Where? In the maestro's room. He's with the doc. And I figure the maestro's guilty. Yeah, but I ain't figured. Oh, you stay here. If anything happens, I'll hear you yell. <laughs> and you ain't kidding. Whoa! Good! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Not now. I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. Not now. Nobody but the housekeeper, Miss Weebles or Miss Wobles. Uh, wonder what she going in that door for? 
Where are you going? Oh, a policeman. Now, well, you see, one time that somebody went down in there, and I followed them, see? So after they went second, I went first, and I come out first after I... Uh, uh, so? So, well, what it was, I was, went down in there second, and when they, I followed them, they come out first, and what I was trying... Don't you get it? I'm no good at geometry. Did you see anybody go by here? Oh, the housekeeper. She went over in that door. Keep your post. This is a relief. You'd rather have Doc doing it, wouldn't you? That would be a luxury. Et comment? Poor Clem. You relaxed her, Madge. But I don't suppose any of us will get any rest tonight. Mm. I've got one eye glued open myself. There. That should ease you a bit. I wonder where Santoy is. Snooping around. An old Chinese custom. <laughs> well, come on, let's get some rest. It's all right. We're all here. In the wall! It's in the wall! She fancied she heard it before. Elle rêve. What has happened? Clem had a bad dream, Mr. Chan. She's a Shakespearean addict, Mr. Chan. Dramatic. <coughs> oh! Mrs. Wavos. Fine trick to play on a lady. Somebody slid it back from upstairs. You write longhand or shorthand? <laughs> Drink is the root. You are spying, making notes. What are you, amateur detective? I have evidence, plenty evidence. Ladies, no need to be alarmed. Sliding panel is merely relic of old prohibition days. Right, Mrs. Weibold? <gasps> More of them. Oh! Next time, try the front door. Oh, I was following somebody. You. Oh, Finkle, eh? <laughs> Ruby, it's no joking matter. Ladies, levity is a great cure-all. You will please all return to your chambers. Mr. Chan, you promised me I wouldn't have to stay here. No, child. Mr. Chan's afraid for you. 
Why don't you come out with me to my cabana? You'll be able to sleep there, all right? Sergeant. Where are other three men? In Doc's cabana, I think. Noise of high surf must have prevented their hearing recent alarms. Sergeant, tonight you will keep careful watch between cabanas and house. Right, Mr. Chan. But about Mrs. Weebles. Oh, harmless. She may have overheard something of importance, but I will question her later. But, Sergeant, tonight, keep careful guard. No one must cross between cabanas and house. You will also check on three men, but do not disturb. Right, Mr. Chan. Doctor, doctor, help me, help me, doctor. What are you giving him? Just a mild sedative. Poor devil, he needs it. <laughs> what he needs is a good shot of truth, sir. Well, I heard that. Now, get out of here, doctor. Throw him out. He's giving you a shot of truth, sir, and we'll sweat the truth out of you when you don't know it. Take him away. Oh, maestro, maestro, this will calm your nerves, bring sleep. Doctor, I, I've got to confess. Talk, talk, killer. Throw a light on him, keep him going. He's cracking. Get out for heaven's sakes and leave the man alone. Well, they all crack when they're like this. I took that box. I took it out of your bag. Why, why? Get out. It's in my room. What's my in trunk. It? What's in it? What were you hiding? Papers, her papers. She'll expose me and ruin me. Get out, Daniels, or I won't be responsible. So you're covering from. The box was in your bag. It's beginning to get clear now. Oh, you're wild. Get out. You needn't have given him that shot. It was the merciful thing. The only merciful thing. Uh-huh. Maybe so. But I'm getting to a phone. I'll bring some law in here. It'll make Chan look like a monkey. you, Daniels. Come out with your hands up or I'll shoot. You wouldn't dare. Listen, I'll make you a deal. Come out with your hands up. Look, Sarge, I got this thing cracked. Let's get to a telephone. Chan's orders. No one leaves premises. But I tell you, I got this thing cracked. Let's get to your headquarters. There's a promotion in this, and I can see that you get the brakes. Chan's orders. Ah, whither I go, so goest thou. I'll break you for this. I got influence. Not as much as I've got. Right now. them darn mice again.
Where? Where's you at? Come on. Hurry. Oh, my goodness. He's stuck. Say something so I can find you now. Is you talking from this side? What do you mean this side? I'm slipping. Give me a hand. I just want to know if you're talking on this side of the world or the other side. Wash your face first, ain't you? Having time for that now. Yeah, but suppose and beat that little Chinese number. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Come on. <laughs> Pop must be around these cabanas somewhere. Can we wait till the morning to tell him? Oh, no, he's got to know tonight. He might arrest an innocent person. And besides, we got to watch these cabanas anyhow. You ain't fooling me. I know how come you ain't interested in these cabanas. It's that little Chinese girl. Hey, look. set in you put big foot in it. Come. Which way did it go? <coughs> it went that way. Well, hurry. We follow. Quick. I got to slow it down, Mr. Chan. Too bad. I was in hopes soon to overtake other cars. Mr. Chen, I wanted to ruin him. I wanted to make him suffer as badly as I have. Call King, the maestro. I was his wife. I ran away from him, but when I tried to come back, he wouldn't even recognize me. He gave me a job. Wardrobe mistress. I was humiliated. Cast aside like... like something unclean. Can understand about Marcia and Lois, Mrs. Thorne. But why Santoy? Santoy knew. She stole my papers. My papers in the box. No. No, papers stolen by others. Highway Patrol, Jimmy, directed here. 
She deserted me years ago. Ran away with a dancer. I have some of her letters here in the box. She put the bathrobe in the maestro's closet, hoping the local police would make the obvious arrest, then clinched the evidence with the cords. Is that the way it was, Mr. Chan? Exactly. Happy solution of case will permit you, doctor, once again to resume medical practice. Will you excuse, please? I'm in very great hurry. But, Mr. Chan, Marsha went up the beach while we were in swimming. Mrs. Thorne went up the beach in Marsha's robe, silly. Making it seem as if Marsha was killed in the house and then carried out. Exactly, exactly. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, say, Pop, can I... Uh... Yes, you may take that walk now. Yeah, goodbye. Mr. Chan. What? No one has thanked you. Oh. Oh, I am sufficiently recompensed now. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Mr. Chan. Mr. Chan. What's the matter, Birmingham? It was mouses in them walls. 